What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. So, there was a data download tonight, which usually means we have new banner info. I think it was exactly a week ago we... Well, because we got the stream, was it was last Monday, uh, so we knew that Alice and Adis would be coming, but I think the actual info in game was last Tuesday night, or Wednesday morning, and then the banner came out on Thursday. So we should have another banner. Um... But we have already had two wind banners. You know, we obviously had Nergius, and then we have this, and they usually go two banners of one color, and then unless there's like some crazy quick stuff that happens, sometimes they have a third banner. Sometimes one week we'll have two of the same color uh, if they're doing something special. But uh, we should be getting a light banner next because that is what Ordinal has as the next bonus. Uh, starting around like the 16th or 17th or something. So we should be getting a light banner uh, probably tomorrow since that's usually when it happens. So let's see. I really don't know what to expect. Um, you know, last year we did get two summer banners. We got the Roni and Tease banner and then we got the Asuna and Liz banner. So we very well could see immediately another uh, summer banner. Um... But a lot of the big-time characters have summer units now, so, I mean, they could do Leafa and Sinon. Uh, you know, they could throw us a, a curveball, do, like, Shaita and Fanatio. Um, I guess they could give a seasonal to um, Lenal and Feasel. But realistically, I don't know really what to kind of expect, so let's just take a look. Uh, we could also not get a summer banner at all. It could just be something normal, so let's take a look. Um, okay, so that story. S summer with you. Okay, so it is in our summer banner. All right, who are we getting? It's Alifa. Okay. Um. Okay, that's cute. She has the same kind of like raft thing that, uh. Oh, and she. Wind again? A third wind banner? I guess we only got a ranking wind event, so it's very interesting to get another wind banner. Interesting. Oh, she's limited. Ooh. Ah. New character comes with adventure mode. What's adventure mode? What the heck? What? New character comes with adventure mode. What the heck? Okay, well, we'll figure this out. So, we are getting a summer Leafa. Oh, man. We gotta see what she... I can't, she's limited. I can't pass limited units. As much as I want to pass, she's limited. We have no idea when she would ever come back. And I really just... I can't believe they're doing two limiteds back to back. All right, all right, all right. Let, let's go over everything. Let's figure out what what is this adventure mode thing. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, new character comes with adventure mode. Set it on your home screen and tap on the green icon to start the character scenario. During these character scenarios, the scenario can branch off the many different directions, so pick the lines you think are right. Players who select all the correct lines will get Leaf Evolution Crystal times five as mission rewards. Okay, so it's just a small little thing. Okay. Um, I don't know if this will be something they continue to do moving forward or if this is a uh, one-time thing. So, f I, I mean, I'll have to look on Twitter. Actually, let's look on Twitter. I want to see if this is a normal... Uh, artwork we're kind of looking at here. Alright, uh, we're gonna switch over here real quick. Alright, let's move over to... Just move this over real quick. Um, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Is it a little fan servicey? Yes. But it's nothing compared to what we've gotten recently, so that's totally fine. I don't have an issue with that artwork, and definitely summon worthy. Um, okay, so let's go down and look at what she does. So everything else seems like it's pretty much the same. She is a limited unit from what it seems here. Yeah, limited edition character. She only comes around. Oh, I really don't need more win, though, at all. But I don't like the idea of skipping limited units. Hopefully I can get lucky with her, but I, I think I definitely will end up summoning. Um, okay, so let's take a look at what she does uh, before we move forward. So let's look at her stats. Uh, 6,300 HP, 
2400 magic. Okay, so she's a magic unit, so just like the previous units. Uh, they're definitely trying to give us some good magic options for wind. Uh, okay, so stats, you know, she's got some decent magic attack. She is a charge unit, which doesn't help me a ton. So we've gotten four wind units. That's crazy. I really wish I had skipped Nergius because he's probably getting replaced. Uh, who's her partner? Partner is Asuna. Man. There's the downside. I don't want to use her with an Asuna. I just took off Asuna from my team. Uh, okay, whatever. I, I don't pass limited unit, so... I, I will just have to skip, like, the rest of the month, you know... Uh, light and dark, whatever, whatever we end up getting for the next couple banners. You know, they're not limited. I can skip them. It's fine. Um, so her charge, okay. Aerial Cutter, level 2. Uh, Magitek Strong on single enemy. Lowers enemies incarnate break by 50% for two turns. Incarnate charge, 20%. Aerial Slash, Assault, Magitek Extra Strong on single enemy. Increases damage by 15% when using Skill Link. Skill Link? So is Skill Link, uh... Like, Active Link? So you do 15% more damage during Active Link if you use an Assault? Okay. I assume that's what that means. Um, okay, and then, of course, you know, uh, her Mermaid Mode uh, also does win plus one, so that makes sense. Uh, for the recollection. So she's going to be a good recollection character. So uh, definitely worth using. Incarnate skill. Free Fall Lagoon. Incarnate magic attack on single enemy. Raises magic attack of all allies by 10% for two turns. That's actually really good. Um, definitely an incarnate worth starting with. Uh, you know, you can kind of buff everything right there. Um, but let's see. I assume all of her other stuff is heal has healing as well. Um... Oh, wait, no, she doesn't heal. Interesting. So her mermaid mode is uh, uh, stat raising. So her charge raises physical resistance by 7%, capped to 30%. Okay. Same thing with her assault and her incarnate. Uh, okay, her incarnate just is going to be a little bit stronger. Her specific imaginarium increases magic attack for unlimited amount of turns. Okay. Um... Leader skill is magic attack as well. So, she's not, like, crazy. Like, I'm looking at her abilities, and it's, like, not crazy. But she is going to really buff your defense, which is really, really nice. Uh, she's definitely more on the defensive side in terms of that kind of stuff. And then, of course, we do have all the other wind units right here that uh, you can... So, this Asuna is going to be her best friend right now. Until we get a new wind Asuna, um, that's Leafa's best friend. Seriously, if this Leafa was not limited... This would, pro this would most likely be a skip for me because we don't really have a ideal... Since this Asuna has, you know, been pretty much replaced except for her Incarnate skill. Um, I don't know. So yeah, the banner drops tomorrow. Um, I don't think there's anything special with this banner. You know, it's pretty much the same thing. Do they have the same thing up here where... Okay, so start. So if you get a four star after step seven, it's guaranteed to be only new four star characters. So on single character banners, that's better because that means you're guaranteed to get Leafa after step seven if you do walk away with a four star. Um, and of course, you have the fifty percent chance on step five and seven. Um, so that's pretty good there. And then let's see if there's a new cutoff point for uh, the banner. Dual Fist, Iscon, Life of Tomorrow, Alice. So that's the, uh... I think that's the Alice I never ended up going for. Where she's, like, kind of holding the egg with, uh... I think it's the one where she's holding the egg with the, uh... Dragon Babies in it, like Amiori and stuff. Uh, I believe. Um... Okay, so that's Leafa. Uh, definitely going to be summoning. Um... It's just... It's... I can't... I have to try and keep my collection complete with these limited units. Luckily, I got very lucky when I bought these extra gems uh, when I was still chasing Alice. So, you know, with what I still have left, I can farm from Ordinal. I'll have enough for seven steps. Hopefully, I don't have to spend all that to get this Leafa. But uh, I guess we'll just see how it goes. 
Um, so Hometown Waterfront Part 2. Uh, this is going to be a regular story event, I presume. Okay, so there is a... Uh, this Leafa's uh, artwork you can get as a uh, background, so that's kind of nice. All right, so normal stages, all the normal stuff here. Uh, it's not even even showing, you know, rewards or anything, so... Uh, you can't even look at the event pass or anything, so it's just gonna have an event pass, and that's pretty much it. All right, um, I think that's pretty much it. Let's see if there's anything else I uh, missed here. Is there any other news? A to pick up? Nope, that's pretty much it. So, all right, summer. Uh, this is our second summer banner. I don't expect a third one. Um, so I guess next week we'll probably start the uh, the light banner stuff because if we actually look at Ordinal again real quick. Uh, when does the bonus change? Well, because, one, you get this accessory, uh, which is nice. But when does the bonus change? The bonus changes on the 16th. So, a week from today is the 14th. So, if we get on the 15th, uh, you know, we get the, uh, we'll get next week's banner. And then the 16th will be when everything changes. So, then the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th will be, you know, the light element banner. If they do three banners. Probably only going to do two. But uh, those banners will have the bonus for Ordinal itself. So uh, the Sleefo will still have some use for the next like uh, week or so. Uh, week and a few days. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the Sleefo down below. You know, ideally, I would not want to summon here. But I just, you know, because, like, I don't know who to replace. If I want Leafa to be optimal, I need to have Austin on the team. So I... Who, who do I get rid of? Because, like, I got to get rid of either Nergius or Quinella. Because they're both charge units. I can't have 500 charge units on a team. Um, you know, obviously this this is good because she has uh, wind recollection right there. And then when you use her enhanced mode, it's also wind recollection. Um... This is only, it doesn't have the, I, realistically, I'm probably going to keep Leafa in the back there, and I'm probably going to replace Nergius and Quinella with Asuna and Leafa, assuming I pull Leafa, and that'll pretty much be wind, and I won't touch a wind banner for like a year. Um, but that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.